Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another episode of The Mind Ventures. Before we kick things off, i got a few things to ask of you. First of all, we need names for our pets. We got one wolf over here. We have one over there and we have some lag over here. Oh god. There we go. And we have some more over here. So names for wolf please. I would really much appreciate that. Let's look at that. I'll take you. Uh, next up, the question is, what should we do with this mop farm? What should we make of it? I mean the design, not the mop farm itself. Of course, it's going to stay a mop farm. But what should we do with the design? Right now, it looks like this. I think we can make a giant tower out of it. With a... Uh, oh, and there goes a zombie and a skeleton and another skeleton. So it's actually pretty good working right now. So what should we make out of it? We should make a living apartment. We should make a rocket. We should make a floating base. You uh, suggest and I'll take a look at it. And one more thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the world border because honestly we have a world border for uh, almost 2000 blocks on each side now. And I only need one more achievement, that's the adventure adventure achievement, I have to get all biomes. And I really don't want to spend stacks and stacks of diamonds on one achievement. So I'm going to uh, remove it if I know how to. Nope, let me just quickly search that. So apparently we have to set the world border to 60 million blocks, which is the far land distance, I think. There we go. So we have got rid of the world border so we can start finding a jungle now and an ice spike biome. We already have a mesa biome within the world border. Uh, you can go there with an ender port, so I'm not going to do that now. Not really useful. And I have to ask one more thing, and I forgot what it was. Damn, I forgot what it was. Well, anyways, we are going to start some preparations for our second challenge, which was given to us by... Oh, I can't remember the name, sorry, dude. But it was given to us by someone. Yeah, of course it was given by someone. And that is to make a... Railway track of a thousand blocks so we can get that achievement, but we have to go at the same layer the whole time. So we should like start over here and just stick great dig straight through and whenever we encounter a hill or a cliff or a ravine, we have to cross it. We have to stay at the same height. So I'm going to start some preparations here. And how we are going to do this is actually quite simple. We're gonna use uh, activator rails to quickly get out of the mine cards and get back in. And the start of it should probably be around here somewhere. Let's see, if we put it in the hill here, I would physically put it right there. Uh, let's see, I have to get rid of this pump, these pumpkins, we got another of those. Oh, that's the jacko, it's not a pumpkin. Ah, oh, damn, inventory space. Oh, I hate inventory space. Ugh, let me just put some rails in here. There we go. Alright, get rid of some pumpkins here, and also the seeds. Alright. That should do for now. So we're going to start on a bit lower actually, we're going to start on this layer right here. That is layer 64, the default layer, it's pretty nice. So we're going to make a little gap here that we can actually make the redstone for the activator rail. Ah, oh, inventory space, I hate that. I truly hate that. We should have, have like a backpack update and we can get some extra inventory space. Right, this is what gonna do for now. I'm going to make the rail on clay, so we're going to put clay down here. And this is going to be our start, so we have to put a activator rail over here. Over here, actually. We put the power drill over here. And some normal rails. I think it was three or four. I'll see in a minute what it turns out. Uh, let's see. I, this is a detector rail here. I have to make one of those. Be right, be right back, I have to make one of the detector rails. Detector rail checker. 
we put that right here. I'm gonna have to get some more stuff. Jeez, I really have to be prepared better. We got too much stuff in our inventory. Let's put some things away here that we don't need immediately. There we go. Let's pick the stuff up. I hate stuff like this just floating around. I always want to pick it up. Always. I just don't like it laying there. Alright, let's do this. It's not really a difficult system to make, it's fairly simple. Alright, let's go in there. Let's see, the redstone. Uh, make some torches. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to get some repeaters as well. Damn! I am not doing good today. I'm just forgetting everything. Well, I guess it's just because I'm a little stressed. I just finished giving a lesson. It's actually a pretty good lesson. I'm happy with it. But I'm still a bit stressed. I sure you understand how I feel. Like you just finished an exam. And you're still thinking about it. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. But I did pretty good, so I should be happy. Right, so the power drill is right here. Put a torch here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to put it back even more, I guess. Or oh, we can just... No, it's not going to work. We have to put it back more. I really thought it was four blocks. I must have uh, missed something there. Alright, now it goes this way. I wonder, does this work? Crap, I don't have a minecart with me, jeez. What is going on? Right, minecart, you're the last thing I'm going to get. You're the last thing. Yeah, we have one. Thank God. More iron waste. Alright, does this work or not? I don't think it's going to work like this. No, it doesn't. Whoa, that was a little bit of a lag wave. Right, so we're gonna have to put it back a bit more. Jeez, my shovel is too efficient. First world's problems. So a repeater right there. Torch here. No, uh, torch. Some redstone dust and a detector rail. Should go right over here. And then we close this off. There we go. And this should work. Let's test it out. I'm gonna have to put some delay on it actually. I think that is it. Four ticks. No, we need more speed. But obviously, we're going to arrive here with speed, so I should actually just add a. Ah, oh, jeez, I don't have a redstone box with me. Ah. Alright, never mind. We're just gonna put a quick torch here. I'm not in the mood to get something else. Power drill, no more drill, there we go. Perfect. Get back here. Yep, that is working perfect. So uh, let's close this off. And I don't have stone bricks with me. God damn it. Well, anyways, this is only the start to the challenge. So I'm going to make a video on that soon enough. That I'm not going to make this right now. But yeah, there's going to be a thousand blocks in that direction. That's going to be quite some work. So we're just going to have to go. Go, 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 that scared the shit out of me. Good thing I have a water bucket and fire protection. Fire protection. Oh, jeez, that was scary. Holy moly. Well, I think we got rid of that pretty decently. Uh, there's more here. What you treacherous little bastard? This is unbelievable. Well, I'm not gonna do this now. This is for later on. Jeez, I'm still shaking. That was scary. I never had never had that happen to me before. Who expects a lava lake right under the hill like this? Seriously. Who does that? That is just cruel. It's cruel. There are no mobs in there. Damn it. Well, uh, I don't think I showed this actually in the previous video, but here we are. A nice little cave for our villagers and an iron golem to protect him. We have a cleric and another cleric. There's actually one with a very good book here. 
Is it this guy? No, it's the other guy. I think it's him. No, who was it? Who was it? That's the librarian, probably. That's the butcher. Where's the librarian? Oh, yeah, two more dogs here who need names. You're the Fletcher, you're the farmer. And this doesn't work, so I should probably take this down. Here it is. Efficiency 4. It's only it's falling for the emeralds. It's not that much. A compass and a bookshelf. And two written books. And a, comp and a clock. And glass. Yeah, you see. It's a pretty good uh, spot right here. They didn't have made a baby yet, and that's what's bothering me. <coughs> They've been here for several days now, and they're farming like crazy, but they're not making babies. So yeah. Uh, as you can see, some diamond ores and emerald ores and lapis ores in the walls as decoration. Uh, some leaves with a uh, glowstone behind it for light. Yeah, I really like this cave. It reminds me of uh, the previous season of the Mine Rangers, which I really liked. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Here we go! Wee! Alright, this is something that has to be done. It's not a pleasant job, it's not something that everybody wants to do, but it has to be done. And I should probably get eyes to do this. Oh man, the lag is real. There we go. Yeah, I should really get eyes to do this, but I don't have any eyes, that's the problem. But we have to flood the entire island with water so we can make an enderman farm. We're gonna start at the very edge that we can see right there. Oh and this is gonna take so much work. I should really get me some ice. But yeah. Someone's got to do it, someone's got to do it. So, uh, let's get things started, shall we? Oh jeez, what have I done? I truly, truly, truly hate this job. This piece alone took me like, let's say, 25 30 minutes, and I still got all of that to do. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. But we do not have a choice. If we want in the pearls, we must do this. And the lag is real. Good thing this will never be loaded. Alright, that's enough water placed for today. I'm going to do something else because honestly I am tired of doing this and it's getting quite boring. So I'm going to continue this another time and we're going to get to our portal. Ah, damn it. Missed it. There we go. Look at that. Whoa. That's what they call aiming for professionals. Look at this. So many books, we have to make a library, there's no doubt about it, we have to make a library. We do not have a choice, we are condemned to make a library, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a library. Of course, first we have to make tons of bookshelves, which won't take too long, we're gonna start off with three stacks. Oh man, this is gonna take long. <laughs> I revoke my words. Three stacks, come on. We can do it. We've got the power. Go on. One more off. Crap. I missed one. Alright, there we go. Three stacks. What is going on? Oh, it's one stack. That's right. How could I miscalculate that? That's weird. Let's make some more. A library needs books, bookshelves, and of course an enchanting room, so we're gonna take care of all that. But the question is, where are we going to build it? Ah, uh, let's see. Let me think for a second here. We're gonna need some space, uh, underground or above ground, I'm not sure. Do, 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 do. Maybe above our house, like in the hill over there, but that's maybe a bit cliche. Hmm. Let's let's see. Oh, I I might have an idea actually. If we go over this hill right here, this might actually work. Well, that was a cave. If we put it in between all these hills, that might like a uh, library 
that doesn't have a roof, or maybe they'll add a roof later on. That could work, could work. Let's look around a bit more for other places to build a library. And we really need to get that ocean monument explored. It's probably going to be for the next episode. See, so a place for our library. I think I'm going to build it in this little cliff surrounded by hills. But first, I'm going to have to take down all the trees. It's going to take not too long. Got an efficiency 5 axe. Zip, here we go. Let's get that axe and the rest of our tools. Tools, uh, shovel, axe. Yep, that's what we need. Let's get this party started. That didn't take too long. We are just about to get some night here. I'm going to fill this up with that and I'm actually going to uh, put one tree right in the center. I think it's going to be quite nice if we add some uh, nature aspects to the library. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. I wonder if we put one like here, would it grow as well? I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Nice. That is one big tree. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Hi, oh, Mr. Creeper. I do not have my bow with me. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Let's fill this up with dirt so it's an even level. And for the rest, we're going to uh, maintain the structure of the valley as much as we can. Just gonna make sure that this is all dirt, that we can work on one level. There we go. Right, let's get started. So, first things first, we need to place bookcases if we want to make a library, but we also need an enchanting room. So, I would say that the enchanting room would be more or less in the center of the build. I think that would be quite good. And this is all the loot, by the way. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight stacks of logs. That is very nice. So, we need to place 15 bookshelves close to each other. If we put them around the tree here, let's say that the enchanting table will be here. We put it like this, like this. So on top, with an entrance here. Let's get the enchanting table because I'm not sure if it's going to work that we can get the tidy levels. I'm going to need a tool as well if you want to check it out. Let's get a tool and the enchanting table. You yeah, come with me, bro. There we go. And oh, we can. Take a book actually, it's gonna work as well. I don't think I have to connect it later on, so uh, we're gonna make an exit on the other side of the house. So that we can easily get here without running around all the time. So if we put this here, put a book in there, level 30, that's perfect, look at that. So the rest of it can just be decorations like we want it to. Nice, let's get started. So, we're going to make a roof later on, probably going to work from this tree and going up. Not Still not sure on how to do it, maybe we just make it all leaves and add some more trees. Yeah, actually, we can do that. We can just put trees everywhere and connect the leaves so that we have like some kind of a leaf roof. And just put some uh, glowstone. Yeah, I can, I can totally see it in front of me. This is going to be an awesome build. But first, that creeper has to die because he's scaring me. Come here, bro. I'm gonna kill you. There we go. Thank you. Alright, so, saplings are uh, some over here. There we go. I see that. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, some over here. There we go. A smaller one. So we have some variation in the roof design. There we go. A big one. Oh, this is gonna be great. I can totally see it in front of me. Right, one over here. Oh yes, oh yes, I can see it, I can see it. I've got vision. One over here. There we go. That is going to be all closed in. We should probably put one over here as well. There we go, very nice. 
And finally, let's put one here. All right, let me get some. Let me get some stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got some leaves with me. Got some more bone meal in case. So let's get on top of the trees. Whoa! Oh, that was close. That was a bit far. All right, let's make sure that this is all closed in, so that we have no gaps for moths to fall in. We want this to be completely mop proof. Let's make a bit of a uh, surface here. The Side, the ceiling doesn't really matter that much, it's more the inside that has to be closed off. I'm probably gonna have to put another tree here, or uh, let's try it with leaves first. I'm gonna see how that works out. Ah, come on, reach the roof. Yep, there we go. Some hanging leaves. Some more hanging leaves. Alright, let's put this a bit closer to each other. Put some variation here. We also have to add some variation on the ground to the logs because they're all pretty square right now. So, for instance, like this. And we put up three like this. One here, so that we have a bit of a variation. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. And the relief gaps, this is all closed. I'm gonna have to connect this to the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna do this work off camera, but first we're going to add some uh, bookshelves because that's what we're here for actually. Bookshelves and the library. I'm going to do decoration after we've done that. All right, let's see. Gonna make some. Well, we got some logs. Perfect. So we want to make a library and craft table over here. Let's make some slabs as well. So let's say that we want to continue this like this. Slap like that. All around. There we go, and we're just gonna put bookshelves like this. Yeah, that's not too bad, but we're gonna have to add to the uh, bottom as well because just grass there is not going to suit my needs. I think I can put cobble there actually because it's a faithful texture pack, it looks pretty good. Let's try with uh, wood first or with clay. Let's check that out first. How does that look compared to the grass? Well, not too bad actually. We can use this as a pathway as well. That's not too bad actually. I like that. So let's add some more over here. A hallway, nice surrounding, right, looking great. Put one on top here. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll be back with you guys if I have a bit of a design here and yeah see you guys probably in a few hours because i'm gonna have to stop recording you know you know what i'm going to uh end the episode right here because i won't be able to record for a few days and i don't want to delay it so much so thank you guys very much for watching really appreciate it don't forget we need names for the dogs and we need a design for the mop farm so if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscription is always welcome, but I'm not allowed to say that because that is called subscribe, subscriber baiting or something like that. Never mind, I said that. Thank you guys very much for watching and hope to see you on the next video. See you.